fantastic. I'm so excited to get this car actually. Unbelievable. Look at the condition. How's it going folks? <laughs> Can you tell what I'm driving? No, you can't because it's got seat covers. Well, I'm all the way up in Kuala Nerang in Kedah. Yes, 464 kilometers away from me. And I have just picked up my latest Weevil in my, for my garage. For Chris Wee's garage. And uh, you wouldn't believe it if I told you. So I'm just going to have to show you what what I've just collected and yes it's very very old school and yes it's very very cool and I've been looking for one for the longest time but all the ones that I saw in the Klang Valley not so great and uh, either they were in a, in a dire need of a lot of work or they had been modified and uh, yeah so you know what I didn't I didn't want to get one that was that was modified five-speed manual yes no power steering and I've got the windows down because the uh, the blower is working but the compressor's fan is not turning so it's not giving it any gas so the, the uh, aircon is not cold basically the aircon is shot but the blower is working but I've got the windows down I'm all the way up north and I'm absolutely loving loving the drive of this I've got the uh, chase car behind me which was the which was uh, the Waja got into the Waja and just drove here to Kuala Nerang in Kedah. Honestly, I, I, I'd never even heard of Kuala Nerang in Kedah. But I came all the way up here to pick up my latest Weevil. So it's another 464 kilometers back home. But the car is running so well. I hope it stays this way. I hope it stays running this way because it's a buy and drive. And uh, I absolutely already love it. And I've been looking for one for the longest time. I've alluded to it in some of my videos, having owned its uh, successors, uh, having not been very happy with its predecessor or uh, with the successor actually, which I thought was a little bit dumbed down. Yes, yes, I have found myself a first generation Proton Saga. I just went over a huge speed hub without slowing down and the car just soaked it up. Oh man! First generation Proton Saga from 1985! That's when Proton was registered as a car company in Malaysia in 1985. They actually, the colloquial name for this variant is called the Saga Mahate or Saga Made because that's the, this is the car he launched. The actual original Proton Saga. Wait till you see it. I'm just going to enjoy this drive a little bit more because I drove a long way to come and get this car. And I'll be right back. And there she is, folks. The 1985 Proton Saga. Do you want to know how to know a, a 85 original Saga? It had flat signal lights on the side. The bumper had a little bit of an overhang over the headlight. And of course, the very iconic grill that you see here, this two-slat grill. Fantastic with our flag right in the middle. But there she is, all the way from Kedah. I have come up here 465 kilometers, give or take, to collect this original Saga, still with the steel wheels and those iconic center caps, which are body color coded. Fantastic. I'm so excited to get this car actually. Unbelievable. Look at the condition. Those air press are not original. Yes, I know. All you, all you brick bats out there, I know what's original and what's not. I'll, I'll tell you straight up, the, uh, the instrument cluster is not original. It's from an Iswara. The original instrumentation uh, for this car was very close to what I have in my Mitsubishi Galant Super Touring. But look at the condition. It's all original, accident-free, buy and drive with the original steering wheel as well. Yes, I know that's not the original gear knob. I will try and find it. The original gear knob was more like a um, pistol grip 
but it's still got the original steering wheel and I will definitely try and find the uh, original meter for it. The car has got seat covers which means the uh, original seats are actually at the bottom and the rear is not covered. That's the original texture for the seats. Check that out. And it's wind up windows at the back. Oh, here we go. Wind up windows at the back. Power windows in the front which still work, which is great. I'm gonna leave this down a little bit. I'll show it to you from the outside. I just arrived here, Sungai Petani Kedah. Hello Sungai Petani Kedah. Hello North. How is everybody? Uh, there's the Wajah. That was the chase car and Chiang over there. What's up? But uh, yeah, just refueled the car. And there's the originality of it. That's the original seats. These are these, these are seat covers, so I hope I'm hoping the original seats underneath, which is the same track here as this, would be the same. But uh, yeah, there she is. That's the uh, that's the original. Uh, let me remove this so you can see it. Let's discover this together. So that yes! That's the original texture right there. There we go. That's the original texture of the first generation Saga Mahathir. <laughs> oh man, that's an aftermarket cover, but that's fine. Look at the interior. Still really, really good. So yes, I know what's original and what's not because this is the car I grew up with. This was the car that Tun Mahathir launched back in 1985. When Proton first started off as a car company in Malaysia, Malaysia's first car company. Look at that. How absolutely cool is that? So we came up in a newer Proton to get an older Proton. I'm so amazed. The, the, um, the facelifted variant had the black uh, trim go all the way to the end. It did not have this iconic slats. It had a slightly bigger grill that was the Mega Valve. And Unbelievable. So this is just the first walk around. I hope you've enjoyed it. Lots more to come. The latest weevil in my garage. A first generation freaking Proton Saga. <laughs> Been looking for one for so long, folks. And I finally got one. Yes! To me, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful car. Look at that. That iconic wedge shape. Looks so good. And I, you know what? Main selling point, the original 13-inch steel wheels with those center caps. Main selling point. So many Proton Sagas out there have had their rims changed to alloys. 14-inch, 15-inch, 16-inch, 17-inch, I don't know. These are the original 13-inch steelies with the center covers. So brilliant. Very, very happy. Stay tuned, folks. Lots more to come. Thank you for watching. Folks, we just stopped at the uh, Bukit Koba uh, lay-by and uh, I swapped cars. So now Chiang is driving the Proton Saga from 1985. And you know what? I was driving it just now. It's pretty quick. And uh, I guess it's because it's light. But look at it go. So cool. Now I'm giving chase in the uh, Waja. Ah, oh, that is so nice. That is so damn nice to see this car going. And, and we are in a beautiful area. Look at the sour, look at the sour buddy. Excellent. There's me 1985 Proton Saga first generation. Oh man, you know how long I've been looking. Yes, I know the number plate is new. And that's because the original number was a double digit which the uh, previous owner has taken back to put on his new car. Perfectly understandable. I don't mind because it's still an original saga. Look at that. So, so, so excellent. Let me give you a side view. That is 
is so so cool. Yeah, I'm gonna let him overtake. Howdy folks from the Petron station at Gurun r and We've stopped just to take a break and to see if there's anything up with the uh, Saga. So far she's running really well and very fast. And I'll let you in on a little secret. There's something else that's not quite original with this car. If you remember, the 1985 Saga came with an Orion engine, followed later by the Mag Magma and the Mega Valve. Well, guess what? This ain't no 1.3 S Orion. This is a 1.5 mega valve, folks. Yes, yeah, still a Proton engine with some weird uh, filter here. I don't know, I've got to put a KNN or something. But uh, she runs really, really fast. She is very quick. She does um, highway legal highway speeds very easily, very, very smooth, very nice. But she's a lot quicker than uh, than the 1.3 Orion, that, that's for sure. So yes, I've got an original bodied Saga from 1985 with a bigger and more modern heart. Best of both worlds. I still can't get over the fact that this car has got these steel wheels with the center caps. You cannot get these anymore. And because they are 13 inch, shot with 17570 T13 tires, uh, a lot of people, and look, okay, look at the uh, fender gap. There's a lot of fender gap. You can fit something a lot bigger. You can go two inches up easy with this car. So a lot of people have done that. And they have forsaken the uh, original steelies with the center caps. This one's got all four, which is very cool. Some are missing. There are some cars with the, with the 13 inch steelies with the center caps missing. I think I might have to park this car under lock and key. I don't want people to steal that. But yeah, she's running really, really well. Some touch-ups to do here and there, but un other than that, she runs like a dream thanks to this Mega Valve engine. So yes, I got best of both worlds. I had a, I used to have a Saga 1.3 Mega Valve. This is a Saga 1.5 Mega Valve. Yeah, baby. No wonder she was so quick. Re quite quick on the highway, really, no joke. So, yep, keeping up with the Waja quite easily quite quite easily very very happy with this so stay tuned for more of the saga saga how's that the saga of the saga i finally got myself an original proton saga from 1985 yes on the grant it says tahun dibuat 1985 so yes it's a saga ma there <laughs> so cool thank you for watching stay tuned for more to come it's a long journey back but it's a beautiful day gonna really really enjoy driving this old school car there's there's the waja oh sorry i left my drink on it but yeah the waja is is going very very well such a nice car and you know what these raised wheels i'm so happy i got them look at that they just sit so well in the car excellent so new school old school actually kind of old school but older school right there 
doing really really good solid car one of the things I just remembered about my Saga Mega Valve which had the same steering wheel were these uh, little thumb in inserts here where you can uh, sort of like rest your thumb if you're using the uh, 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock uh, steering hand position and uh, yeah the horn works very old school horn so yeah I'm cruising at 100, 110 the car is just purring along the, uh, the uh, temperature is very stable at a quarter, just filled up. The vents are still okay, they are not broken. There's a small crack here on the dash, but other than that, it's still beautiful. And I'm gonna attempt an overtaking maneuver now. Fifth gear. Oh, yeah, baby. 120. Oh my! Okay. I don't think I want to go any faster than that. <laughs> but yeah, it's still pulling. So like you saw just now, this, this car has got a 1.5 Saga Mega Valve engine. So yes, it's, uh, it's old school on the outside and slightly new school on the inside as far as what's under the bonnet is concerned. Oh man, this is, this is as old school as they get, really. I must find the original uh, gear knob. The original gear knob which was long and had like a pistol grip on it. So nice. At first I thought the wind-up window uh, uh, lever was gone, but no, it's, it's power windows. And yes, they still work. <laughs> so nice this is so old school I'm I'm really really enjoying this drive I've got the windows down it's an it's not a it's not that hot of a day it's very very nice outside I'm thrilled it's still got the original uh, cloth at the back so this seat looks like it's not been sat on ever it's still pristine yeah, this, this car brings back a lot of memories, a lot of memories. So happy to actually get this car, finally. <laughs> it was, it's, been a, it's been a long hunt, I tell ya. Three pedals, baby! Very, very cool. Just purring along. 100 kilometers an hour, 3,000 RPM, fifth gear. Lovely, lovely. Right, stay tuned, more to come. Thank you for watching, bye.